Welcome to part 2 of the Gaia 3D tutorial, Running 3D Software for the First Time. This video shows you how to use multimedia and options in the Gaia 3D viewer. How to use multimedia files in the Gaia 3D viewer. You can add images, videos or URLs, that's web addresses, to any of your lessons. In this example we're going to add images. Click on the add button and then select the images you wish to include. Then click on open. We'll add three images, a koala, the desert and a jellyfish. Left click on the image you want and then click on load. The image will then open within the viewer. Remember that the image will not be in 3D. You can follow exactly the same process for including videos. You're able to play, pause and stop your videos once they've loaded. The 3D controls are on the lower right hand side of the screen. In this tutorial we've used a 2D video. You can add a URL by clicking the add URL button and typing in your web address. And then clicking OK. Click the URL you just named and your website will open. Now we'll look at the options menu. To get to the options we're going to go all the way back to the main menu. Click on options. Stereo is used to configure 3D depending on your 3D display or projector. Movement is used to customise the speed of rotation and pan. Display is used to customise the background and turn on anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing will improve image quality but the larger file size will reduce hardware performance. Multi-monitor allows you to configure more than one monitor for this demo, we've only used one monitor. Lessons lets you select and configure multiple directories for models. You can add up to five directories. Click apply for any changes to take effect. Returning to our menu, the hardware option enables the interactive whiteboard compatibility this places icons on the screen so that you can use your pen or finger depending on which interactive whiteboard you own. You have now completed your introduction to the Gaia 3D viewer. The next tutorial shows you how to navigate and interact with the environments.